What's up guys, John Anthony here. Today I want to continue on the topic of my last video about dates being very, very important, a lot more important than taking girls home from the club, or what's referred to as club pulling, okay? Now, what are the two most important things you should be doing on dates? Dun, 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 dun. What is coming to your mind? Think about the last time you were on a date. Maybe you've never been on a date. Imagine what you would do on a date. What do you think are the most two important things, okay? I'll let you think about that for a moment. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to tell you. Number one, sexualizing things, okay? If you are going on any dates where you're just having what I refer to as a fact exchange, okay? This is boring. This is emotionally flat. This is non-stimulating for the woman. And... It's going to come across very platonic and therefore she's not going to look at you as a sexual interest. So stop going on boring platonic dates. Okay. You have to sexualize things. Okay. Number two, you need to be setting the frame that the two of you are going to hang out afterwards. Okay. You have to be setting things up so the two of you can hang out afterwards. Now, I'm going to go into more detail on both those things, but before we continue, please like this video and subscribe if you have not already to be alerted of my new videos every week. Um, but really, guys, date like closing dates is really, really, really fundamental. Like I see in my mastermind group, like guys are like, oh, my close rate is low or like so you should be closing a good statistic for closing on your dates is like 75%. Okay, that, that seems ambitious. Go for at least 50%. I mean, if you have a girl one-on-one -on -one that's agreeing to meet you because she's interested in you, okay, all you have to do is not fuck up and sexualize things and set it up so you can go back home. Now, some other quick parameters here about, <laughs> and don't, don't be thinking in your mind like, oh, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, because then you're gonna fuck up. Most of these things you try not to do will become self-fulfilling prophecies. Just come from the mindset, okay, this girl wants to meet me, she's interested in fucking me as long as I can showcase that I'm a cool dude, which of course I am, that's your mindset, okay? And I'm gonna sexualize things so it's not platonic and boring for her. And I'm also gonna set things up so we can go home after. Now, now here's what guys will typically do. They will um, go through this you know, they're doing this fact exchange. They're thinking like, oh, I hope I don't fuck this up. Should I tell this joke? I wonder if she likes me. I wonder how much longer I can keep this going. Uh, what if she doesn't like me, et cetera, et cetera. Just a bunch of whole negative self chatter, okay? And that's really going to put you in the wrong headspace. And then what a lot of guys will do is they'll go for this big move. That's what Hollywood tells them to do. That's what, like, society tells them. Okay, these fucking romance movies that are unrealistic. This big move, all right? I don't know if, for those of you who have watched the movie Hitch, he talks about this kiss goodnight all right, at, the front, at the front door. You shouldn't be doing a, a stupid kiss goodnight, all right? I've talked about in all my videos, you need to be like escalating both the verbals, the sexual verbals, and the physicality. You need to be bumping those throughout the date, okay? And, you know, if you go for this big move at the end, you kept things kind of flat and then it's this big deal, all right? And then she's like, oh my God, like there's all this pressure to kiss you. And that can turn into some kind of situation where like you're leaning in with your eyes closed <laughs> or something like that. Or she's just like, uh, right? A girl that would have fucked you, but instead you're making it this big deal, all right? And it's not like you won if she even does give you that kiss goodnight. Like, <laughs> like, a lot of times it'll be like a pity or she, pity kiss goodnight or she's like, she doesn't know what to do. So she just gives you like a little peck with her mouth, clo mouth closed and you're like, yeah, score. And like, and like she goes to her car or whatever. And you're like doing, uh, what is it? Like cartwheels? <laughs> what are they doing in the movies? You're doing cartwheels in the parking lot. So <laughs> if you actually want to fuck the girl and be closing your dates, it's very simple. You introduce sexuality. Okay. Don't come out guns blazing. 
it's not like she's like, hey, how are you doing? And you're, and you're like, oh, I'd be a lot better if I was like balls deep in you, right? Like you're not gonna like jump really hardcore into it. It's little innuendos, being playful, keeping things light and fun, okay? And you can be doing like little, like you grab her leg under the table, like grab her knee, you like grab her hand across the table. If you're sitting next to each other, you can poke her in the side, right? These are like little, like gradual physical escalations you can do throughout. Now, just rattling off some metrics that you should be considering for dates. A date at a public venue should land in the time range of 45 minutes to 75 minutes. Okay, so that's 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. You don't want it to be too quick because you haven't really established a lot of shit yet between the two of you. Um, if you are advanced, you can do quicker dates. You can, you can basically do whatever you want. Like at my level, I can, you know, a lot of them come straight to the house and we're fucking within like 10 minutes. But if you're for the normal dates, you're going to want to have, like if it's for drinks, you're going to have like one to two drinks each. If it's for coffee, usually just one cup of coffee, but you're like nursing it. <laughs> if it's dinner, I mean, I, I advise going against dinner dates on the first date, not because you have to pay. This is like a little bit like too serious for the first date. The first date should be something light, casual, fun. So typically coffee or drinks is going to be your go-to activities. Okay. Um, and then dates, date number two can be dinner. Uh, it typically is for me. Okay, but I usually ask them at the end of the first date, what, what's your favorite kind of food? Oh, this or that, or they're not sure. And then I'm like, oh, I like Italian, let's go to this place. Okay, or I, where they fucking see me. No matter, what, what, matter which city I'm in, like there'll be like a sushi place where I like bring in like 50 different girls. There'll be like an Italian place where I bring in 50 different girls, coffee place where I bring in 50 different girls. Sometimes two or three or even four in the same day, right? And they all look at each other. When I was living in San Diego, this one chick I saw her at the club and she was like a, a worker at a sushi place and she's like, are you like a celebrity or something? Like what, like how are you in there like almost every day with like a different girl? I was like, oh, I run a dating company, ha ha ha. Um, I'm like, you and I should go on a date. And I have, I'm like, we can't go to your restaurant. So I ended up fucking her. And then it's funny, she sees me bringing in chicks at her place. Every once in a while the, I mean, you don't have to worry about this until you're, you're doing shit loads of dates, but every once in a while the staff will like cock block you. I had like a dude at an Italian place be like, oh, well, this at least this one isn't blonde or whatever, like last week. And the chick's like, what's he talking about? I'm like, I don't know, he's fucking crazy. And it changed the subject. You know, and then it's kind of like on the way out, like, what the fuck are you doing? And then never never go there again. But typically, they won't cop block you. They usually give you, like, social proof and hookups and stuff. Um, okay, so 45 to 75 minutes. Um, you want to be setting things up to go back to your place before the end like you don't want it to be a situation because you need time to like handle any kind of objections right so you don't want to be like paying the bill and then you're like so like let's go to my place or like so like because then you know she's already in her mind like committed to like going to her car or, like calling a cab or like or even maybe like say she's taking her phone out to like get a cab or something you're like oh wait but we should like you don't want to be in that situation same thing with like the physicality you don't you don't want to be going for like a big move at the end because you weren't physical throughout it doesn't mean you need to get into a kiss or make out on on the actual day at the public venue but it can't just come out of nowhere and it shouldn't be some big deal so um set it up i usually say oh do you have a little bit of time after this like what are you up to after this oh not, i don't have plans till later i'm like oh cool and when i was drinking i was like we could split a bottle of wine after this do you prefer red or white and then if she answers objections or if she says objections about like going to a stranger's house, deal with those accordingly, you know, say it doesn't need to be for sex. Whatever happens, happens. Um, I have no sexual expectations. And then, you know, kaboom. And you basically, you want to, you want to just bring it up and talk in the frame. Like, of course, she's going to agree to it. And then when you get her to agree to it, then you're like, cool. And then you just continue on the conversation. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. Watch my date or watch my video on date straight to the house. Okay. That is really, really beneficial. Um, then you can circumvent the public date. I will link that in the video description and at the end of this video. 
So that's pretty much it on dates. I go into far, far more detail. I give you the exact text to set up the date. I give you, um, in my product, I give you like the full game plan on the date besides those two little things there. Um, exactly how to answer each objection. Like it's like the full blueprint. Okay, the link for that is in the description where it says check out my complete system and my text game product that teaches you the text to set up those dates very effectively. That is in the description as well um, under learn how I text or something like that. It's called. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Expect a video uh, either tomorrow or the next day on emojis examples. Okay, If you haven't seen the emojis video, check that out. It goes through all the emojis I'm using and what, which context and how I strategically uh, use each of those. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe below. I will see you on the next video. Thank you.